So do you remember when those couple of guys in Brooklyn put up a statue of Edward Snowden in that Brooklyn park? This was a, a big mamma jamma, uh, a large metal, four foot tall, hundred pound hunk of Edward Snowden, which they mounted on a pillar on a Revolutionary War Memorial in the pre-dawn hours in a New York City park. And it did last up there for a while, but it didn't last a long while. The Parks Department uh, eventually covered it up with this pretty blue tarp, uh, and then they took it down. Well, yesterday, those Brooklyn guys got their giant Edward Snowden head back. They got ticketed officially yesterday for what they did. Their tickets were actually for being in the park when it was closed, which is illegal. But the bigger issue was their confiscated statue. The city had had their statue. Well, yesterday, finally, a month after they had put it up in Fort Greene Park, New York City gave them back their giant four foot tall, bespectacled, 100 pound metal, metal Edward Snowden head. That's what happened yesterday. And then today, Edward Snowden got something else from New York City. He got vindication of a kind. A federal appeals court that sits in New York, an appeals court, so just one level below the Supreme Court, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals today, ruled that the NSA program that Edward Snowden leaked to the public because he thought it was illegal and people should therefore know about it, a federal appeals court ruled today that that program is in fact illegal. Constitutionally, they said that program cannot bear the weight the government asks us to assign to it. So does this mean that Edward Snowden will come home from Russia now and, I don't know, co collect his giant head from those guys in Brooklyn? Probably not. He's still facing charges of stealing and disseminating classified material. This court case does not change any of that. This court ruling is also now not the end on this subject, this part of the Patriot Act, with, which has authorized NSA spying on a whole, of a wholesale variety. Uh, there's now a split in the various appeals courts on the issue of the constitutionality of that program, so the program will probably head upstairs to the Supreme Court fairly soon. Congress, though, is already considering scrapping the program or scaling it back or changing it somehow. The program has to be reauthorized within the next few weeks anyway. So both the law and, and the politics on the surveillance issue are still TBD. But if you are in the mood for a big, giant, polarizing, and dramatic national security fight, I've got just the thing. And this is something that isn't happening in the courts. It's cooking at the White House, apparently, right now. And we've got that story next.